everybody, how's it going? Stunner Good for Tina, welcome back to another Nostalgia Critic reaction. Gonna be reacting to Nostalgia Critic's newest video called The Rookie of the Year. Now, honestly, The Rookie of the Year is not something I is not a movie I really know that well. I know it it's a baseball themed movie back in the nineties, but yeah, and I was kinda of born just barely into the nineties, nearly nineteen ninety nine, so I obviously never I never got the chance to watch it, so but regardless, I do want to see what Doug thinks about this movie, because who knows? Maybe it was a missed opportunity for me, maybe it wasn't. So let's find out in three, two, one. This episode brought to you by Legacy Box, the best way to digitize your home movies and photos. Hey folks, we're going to be in Cleveland, Ohio for the Cleveland Game. Yep, Club. nice to hear, Doug. Hope to see you there. Hey, sorry if I keep yelling in the mic. I'm just trying to make sure I'm speaking up this time. All right, let, let's let's calm down a bit. <laughs> hey, Doug. Hello, I'm the nostalgia critic guy. Remember, so you don't have. To. Mm -hmm. We tend to talk about fads on this show, and for whatever reason, in the early '90s, baseball seemed to rule cinema. Really? Not going actually, to the sport itself has been popular for many. Oh years, yeah, actually, I remember a lot of these. So, you can go a year without several baseball movies being released. Even movies that had nothing to do with baseball had something to do with baseball. I see. Now, despite many jokes being made about how it's not exactly the most exciting sport out there. The banner is calling for time. Looks like he's going and getting himself a new bat. I hmm. never realized how boring this game is. Cinematically, I it mean, does make sense. It's actually one of my but favorite moments, sports. little is happening is great for buildup. And when something does happen, it can be edited quickly to hype up the excitement or slow down to amp up the suspense. Mm -hmm. And technology was at a point in the 90s where you could utilize a variety of shots and quick cuts and slow-mo more than you could in the past. Correct. And out of all the baseball films that came out around that time, Jeez, that looked like right for the, the guy in the back. Fun. Decent enough. Mm, decent enough, you say? Alright. Man, I miss old styles like these. The film didn't exactly do amazing numbers at the box office. Oh, that's CGI got, on the ball, though. I want to say a following, but certainly an audience. While I've never met anyone who says they love this movie or it's one of their favorites, it does manage to stick around in one's memory. Hmm. And I think that's apparent by the fact that many of its clips have over a million views on YouTube. Really? But with that said, it's also so undervalued. I've never really heard of this myself. Blu ray release. Being the cinematic directorial debut of Daniel Stern, it's clear the film's not trying to be poignant like League of Their Own or Field of Dreams. It's just a light comedy for kids indulging in fantasy where a boy gets to play in a major league team. Or All right. Proximity. That's my time, thank oh. you! With mixed reviews at best, does this Dang. film deserve to be remembered over 30 years later? Or is it an example of just the right idea for the right age range? Well, let's examine it. Probably first. the latter. Let's take a look at the funky butt-loving Rookie of the Year. <laughs> the film opens at a Cubs game where big surprise, they're not doing so great. We, we haven't won a pennant since 45 in a series since... Uh, 1908. 1908. Spoken like a true Canadian. Every Chicagoan back then knew it was 1908. Yeah. <laughs> Cubs fan, what time is it? And they'd be like, goddamn 1908, man! Come on, Henry! <laughs> Meanwhile, a kid named Henry, played by Thomas Ian Nicholas, thinks he's gonna have a good game today. Yeah, a lot of the stereotypic hey, kid so tropes fast. here. Hello, George. Hello, Clark. Stern mom. I like the way she said that. Was she like, ooh, I can feel that future star power of Mr. Nanny emanating Oh, no, 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 no. He gets put in by his coach, or a community college improv actor pretending to be a coach. What's wrong with him? You moron! Yeah, you imbecile. Time out, I'm time out! Oh Rose man, this really is bad. Field. I'm just acting this way till someone shouts out a different it's genre. Oh, oh yeah, Mrs. Pennyworth. Oh, it's like Chris Pam of Mario was just, they changed the accent. That's it. And he does a great impression of me playing baseball. Throw in the cheddar! Come on, right in the kitchen! Get in the big, high, sneaky. Did you shut up? Oh, yeah, agreed. <laughs> He, of course, messes up the catch. I wouldn't dare lift my hat. I have to search oh, come endlessly on. and spin around to utilize my time. And he continues to be an outcast. Can't imagine why. Hen, hen, re, re, ro, ro, hen, hen, garter, nerd. Bottom nine. Two out. <laughs> One on. Yeah, I don't know how this kid got constantly cast as baseball dork. Okay, really? so at times, he can be a bit much. But they do know when to pull it back. Like, I do 
by his uneasiness with his mom dating someone else. Mm. It's our three-week anniversary. Congratulations. What have you got against Jack? He's moving too fast. I mean, he's already got the divorce papers ready to go. So he's leaving his wife. <laughs> with your name on him. Nice. He has a crush on a girl named Vicky, though his friends might be a little more unhealthily fascinated by her. She doesn't mm. like me, and besides, she's not that hot. Boy, she's this probably won't age that well. Milk's done that body good. Boys. This is what we're comfortable saying. Imagine what we're not. Hmm. Well, I'm trying to catch you. You don't want to know. You really don't want to know. His arm. These sound effects whenever he moves are pretty funny. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> butt loving. Did he say funky butt loving? Oh. It is a Grey's Anatomy term. Really? They're so freaked out by hurting the doctor that they almost miss his mom's gift for getting his cast off. What's this? Oh, happy cast off day. What is it? Gums dig it! Oh my god! Off they go. Little moments of charm like that do end up going a long way in this play. Yeah. They make it to the game, and when Henry has to throw back a home run from the other team, his arm locks up like a catapult and launches it faster than anyone's ever seen. Mm. <laughs> the freaking launching, the freaking AI, or the art on that ball when it flies. But that's one of the important things about some movie characters, that they just need to feel real for, like, the moment. So small moments like that do matter. Also, this guy looks familiar. Bring me that arm! We're gonna oh. surgically attach it to our pitcher! <laughs> now that would make for a good movie. Of course they want the kid on the team because, again, Cubs. But Mary's boyfriend Jack doesn't tell Mary at first so he can become his manager. How would you like to pitch for the Chicago Cubs? Great! But I gotta ask my mom first. Cut! Got the trailer line. Next scene. Hmm. <laughs> I'm Henry Rowling Garden. Why didn't you say so? Oh, that's a horse of a different color. Please laugh, what? kid. Unless it's 2016, humor is all we got. <laughs> he runs into Gary Busey playing Rocket, looking lost and defeated. So Gary Busey, yeah, people didn't have to stretch reality much for this flick. Mm -hmm. And like most of the players, he doesn't like having a kid on the team. Can I have your autograph? I don't do autographs. It's been a long time since a Busey's been ass. We forgot how to do it. What are you done Hi, Come on, man. Daniel Stern plays Brickma. A person who honestly looks like he directed this movie. Yeah. I'm not sure kids would like him fine, <laughs> he looks but very it's a weird. little much for me. Eye on the ball! Yeah, he, he's Brick. trying to be that, like, desperate clown kind of guy. I can't pretend Marv was always the greatest character, but at least I knew a brick was heading towards his face yeah. in the near future. <laughs> well, I actually, there's quite a resemblance between those two. Like, not even just, like, acting, but, like, weirdly enough, I kind of thought of that when you said that. Welcome to the big show! Why does he look like he's always chewing on something? Ew. Rhyme with brick. Henry is feeling a little insecure about changing in front of everyone. I mean, this is kind of awkward already. Must have been fun telling the composer. Can you whip up some big cock, little cock music for me? No. The big game starts, and like I said, well, sometimes he's a bit over the top. I do like this kid's cluelessness. You're in my seat. Pictures over there. Oh hey. boy. They sent him to try and make the coach <laughs> the, the scariest thing in a 90s kids film. Throw the heat. So. <laughs> it does feel like that. Closing in the choke. Oh, no. oh wow. dear. I suck. Mm hmm. He continues to strike out, but not in a good yeah. way. Yeah, the goal is supposed to win. Ironically, oh. helps them win. But who cares? Because, ooh, Henry's sitting with that girl he likes. Hmm. It's something for this boat we're working on. You have a boat? Tell her to take her for a ride. Ask her to go for a ride. Don't let on, but she might hear me. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you can clearly boat. hear hey, him. Maybe practice pitching. Because even when you show up, you show up late. Yeah. You find $500 for showing up late to practice. $500? That's like six years allowance. What do you and the Damn. audience think about that? Yeah, it's, it's a little too close to the camera. When he starts pitching again, say, does he get paid for this at least? Go talk to him, Ken. Please. What do you want me to say? You've been working with him. Have you? you no, 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 he hasn't. So as far as I know, he hasn't. About the have to. I gotta admit, this writing does make me chuckle a bit. The have to. Let's see it. What the heck was I talking about? What the heck was he talking about? So what'd you tell him? You wouldn't understand. It's <laughs> typical Gary Busey gibberish. You just get accidental good luck. He gets more confidence and finally starts pitching well. Rocket even with his weird ball. catapult hand. 
Hey, and he got the autograph too. I'm planning on dying soon. So like I Damn. said, this is all clearly fantasy, but again, these little moments of believable friendship do add a lot and give a little charm and weight that the movie does need. Mm -hmm. In a film where almost nothing feels real, a few real moments do mean a lot. Is he going to be the replacement love interest like for her? I hope not. Would say, like when Henry travels to play his next game. Bye! So long! Bye! Let's go back to our dull lives and search for meaning. Oh, you Damn. want 30-year-old kids films too? I was gonna say, I feel that hit a bit too hard. Also, everybody says they never get notified about our latest videos, so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get all the latest updates. Sure thing. The players check into their rooms, interacting with the strangest bellhop in movie history. Sorry, your door seems to be malfunctioning. I'll get housekeeping up here. Thank you. What the hell? When an extra bets you fifty dollars, you can't be fired for a performance in this movie. <laughs> Thank you. Shut your mouth, you're gonna catch flies. Rickma get stuck in between the doors. Little help. <laughs> Little help now. Thus begins the sequel to the film Buried. <laughs> Henry continues to pitch great, but nobody bothered to check if he can bat. You can't let him bat. He's gotta learn sometime. Yes, practice. Practice is when he learns. Right. Again, this is all just a weak setup for comedy, but to its credit, it does make me laugh. Give me something that I can hit. A step in the box, son. Come on, step into your coffin like a man. <laughs> oh, nope. Uh, but he's so short, the pitches count as balls. Again, pretty humorous. But he's and I'm sorry. But it, but he swung after the ball hit. That means that counts as a strike, though. Like, I don't know. Like th that was the same case in Chicken Little when when he threw the ball and he caught it, and then the guy swung. That was a strike. That wasn't a ball. All right. I laugh hard when he's distracted and the hitter behind him has to slow down so he can run the bases. <laughs> this is as fast as I go! This is so stupid, but I think every little kid has Okay, that's pretty funny. If this would ever happen in a game. He's like, go, go, go! This kind of acquits itself in this childishly silly movie. <laughs> Even the mother's reaction is pretty funny. He hit him too hard! He was just trying to make the tag. Hey. Oh. I cut prickle smaller than yours! Oh, she's, she's going mad. The sparks flying between Mary and Rocket. Yeah, I think I was gonna be. Go a little. Darn it. Like this? Boy, talk about the reversal of that checkout meme. Yeah. Except it isn't as much frustration as much as, huh? I'm <laughs> like a little penance fever to get the juices going. What the hell is he wearing? Try to get lucky. Remember now, it's all free. Excuse me, ladies. Which one of you wants to get arrested dating my friend? No, 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 no. It was actually about pinball. And I love how Henry gives a look like, man, I wish the Cubs were a bit more messed up. <laughs> so the owner of the Cubs, played by Dan Hedaya, says the Yankees want to buy Henry. They want to buy the kid for $25 million. He's a kid. Jeez. 30 million. The catch is he has to get married to sign the contract. But you got to do something for me. You got to get rid of Chet Stedman. Get rid of Gary Busey? I thought you were going to ask for something difficult. I'm sorry, he's not even that bad in this. Just These jokes are so easy. Yeah. Henry even starts getting the most 1993 commercial spots. Oh boy. You got the right one. Oh, right freaking Pepsi. Oh, yeah. That must Henry be awkward for him. Or he's having the time of his life. I need you to be more sexy. Some of the guys what? do. And Jack tricks Mary into signing Henry over to the Yankees. Wait, 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 wait. Did he actually say about that? Oh, hold on. Did he actually say that? Be more sexy. Some of the guys too. Okay, and I guess he's there. Oh. signing Henry over to the Yankees. But who gives a shit about that? He wasn't there to finish putting the boat together. What, I'm supposed to work on it by myself? Great idea! Work on it yourself, Mr. Superstar! You think I don't have okay, friends in this what? industry? I know a kid who owns his own baseball right, team! Right, unnecessary conflicts. Hmm. Well, Henry gets even more timeless Busey advice. That's gonna make you stupid. See you in Hitman. <laughs> he's told he's gonna be forced to sit out the rest of the season and then let go. Don't worry. Jack will play the role of father figure with drug PSA acting. Don't you walk away from me when I'm talking to you! You show me some respect! From you, okay? I learned to overact by watching you! Yeah. <laughs> His acting only gets better. You can't do that! Of course I can! I'm the manager! I brought in Reebok! You are making Ooh. the bellhop guy look subtle. Yeah. I make the decision! He is my son! He's my client! I am <laughs> <What the> <laughs> Exactly. Mary literally 
he but punches the... him out of the house, and the scene almost jarred uh, me. God, and they, and they say Jim Carrey goes over the top with stuff to the point where it's not believable. Mm, these guys, on the level. He goes super serious talking about his real-life father, but these two do play it pretty well. Mm. When I was a teenager... Mom, I know that he left you when you were pregnant with me. It only scarred mm. me a little bit. <laughs> See, I only do that once a day now. Like I said, though, their performances do make it work, and later he even manages to make up with his friends. That's good to hear. So you coming? We can't reenact the ending of Godfather 2 without you. <laughs> now that, that would make he for decides an He doesn't movie. want to return to baseball next season, so he can have a child. And, you know, contracts don't mean anything, so he doesn't have to go to the Yankees, mm. and Rocket can still pitch. Well, I mean, if he's, I mean, if the guy signed the contract, then it's legally binding. But if he signed it, then it's not, because anyone underage signing a contract, it's not legally binding. Yeah, I heard that Mr. Fish wanted to oh, sign uh, it. that was just spec, Uncle Bob. Nothing final. Uh -huh, I give sure. credit most movies like this would drag this out with more pointless moping, but they know it's a kids' film, and they just want to get to the fun stuff. So mm -hmm. they give their young audience what they're looking for, jumping straight to them playing at the World Series. No, there's still plenty of corny cliches, though. Like right, Rocket does one more pitch with his bad arm, breaking the bat. Nice. He slips, fixing his arm, so now he can't pitch. No, I, I can't yeah. hard anymore. I, well, I, what are we gonna do? Isn't it obvious we pray Randy, to God? He's try and infamous pitch for helping for real. teams cheat if a kid doesn't have a father. <laughs> oh. Gotcha. Again, this gets pretty <laughs> nice. silly, but I do like the idea that they just have to think more clever in order to be the other team. Right. Except these moves are all illegal. <laughs> hey, I'm not chicken. Cut it out. <laughs> Nerves of steel. These Buddy. Players, except when it comes to Nick. Buddy, that's a kid that's making fun of you. You're losing to a child. That sucks. And it, and it, that shit hurts. Mm. <laughs> stop it. Just, just stop it. Are they literally going to do the who's on first routine next? Right. Are they? <laughs> oh, but I... just to clarify, it was duck season, right? <laughs> Freaked him out originally returns though, confusing Henry in a number of ways. Oh lord. I think mainly the same way the lead character from Lost Boys <laughs> looked at the sax player. Did he freaking he sandpaper that bad? From his mother. So crying to your mommy does help, what a twist. And he manages guess. to strike him out. Dang. That easy, huh? But mighty Casey! Oh wait, this isn't a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. I got it! Goes back to playing regular baseball and finally wins mm. the respect of his classmates. I also thought there was a schoolhouse rock poster back there. Is yours. And that was Rookie of the Year. Easy to tear apart, but I do think it's mainly for little kids, and as those movies go, I think it's passable. Honestly, I agree. Yes, there's Looks a way pretty to get films right and wrong, but this film really seems to soak in the fantasy of its idea and gives jokes that, say, five to ten year olds would enjoy totally fine. Yeah. I don't think it's trying to hit the grown-ups that much, and even by that measurement, it's not awful. It can just sometimes be a little too goofy. Mm. But I think it's got just enough charm to win kids over and not necessarily scare grown-ups away. Mm. I just don't think it would suck them in, either. It's not a That's fair enough. time, but it is, at the very least, a nice game. Alrighty, then. I'm the nostalgia critic, guy. Remember, so you don't have to. Yep, you always say that, Doug. I always believe you. Sorry, your door seems to be malfunctioning. I'll get housekeeping up here. Well, your acting is malfunctioning even worse. <laughs> All right. It's so uh, that's quite an interesting movie, honestly. Like I honest, I don't know. Like if maybe if I was a little kid and I saw it, or my mom showed me it, I probably would have liked it. I don't know. It doesn't seem too bad, but it definitely seems like a. Like you said, a very, like, kiddish style movie that is honestly neutral mostly to adults. Makes fair enough nonsense. I actually had no idea that the 90s were obsessed with baseball at the time. Maybe that explains why that's one of my favorite sports. I'm not really a sports watcher myself, though. But, like, if I had to pick a sport, I would pick baseball. And that's actually what I had to do as a little kid. Because I actually really liked it, too. Was I really good at it? I have no memory. So, <laughs> I can't tell you. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. 
Uh, tomorrow we're going to be playing Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, on live stream, so I hope you guys will be there. And with that being said, I'll see y'all next time. Bye!